Hello everyone, my name is Roya and welcome back to another Top 5 Wednesday. So Top 5 Wednesday was created by Ginger Reads Laney and is hosted by Thoughts on Tomes and today's topic is unlikable protagonists. So this is a list of some of my favorite unlikable protagonists. Coming in at number five, we have the entire cast of Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. And I just, I'm referring to the three sisters and also the people kind of behind them who are the real people trying to make a grab for power. And so throughout this book, you kind of don't know like whether the real bad people here are the sisters or whether they are the people kind of behind each of them. Um, because the people kind of behind each of them are the ones really like motivating the sisters to fight each other and whatnot. But then also the three sisters do still have a lot of unlikable qualities and in particular, um, Arsinoe and Catherine are very, um, like, they know that they're the least powerful. Like, they know that they're not as powerful as Mirabella, but they um, are still trying to, like, mess each other up and everything and mess up Mirabella in particular and, like, doing all this stuff. And basically, when Mirabella and Arsinoe first meet each other and Mirabella is, like, the nice one who, despite being the most powerful, just really does not want to kill her sisters... Arsinoe just is not willing to listen to her at all because she's grown up hating her and all of this stuff. And then same thing with Catherine. She's just kind of, she just has so much hatred for her sisters and she, she's never met either of them, but she just like insults Arsinoe all the time um, just to other people. It's also kind of interesting the fact that the two who are the least powerful are the most like, have the, the biggest egos kind of and um, are the most willing to do crappy stuff to succeed and to cheat and all this stuff, um, because they kind of have to. And yeah, I just, I just love that aspect of it. And I love the, uh, the whole thing about all the people behind them kind of using them as like pieces in their little like thing. So coming in at number four is Beatrice from the book Wide Acre by Philippa Gregory. And Philippa Gregory's books are full of very unlikable people, but Beatrice in particular is a very terrible person. Like she played an integral part in the deaths of like her father and um, all these other people. Like she, she is just insane. And I think that kind of made the book, like you're supposed to, you know, she's such a terrible person. She uses people so much, but Basically, like, and her whole motivation is so that, like, she can inherit her family's land and everything somehow, even though she's a woman and this is, like, the 1700s and she can't. So she just kind of, like, sticks her claws into everyone she can um, in order to accomplish her goal. And she is, like, seriously such a an unlikable person, but you see why she does it and it's just really insane. Coming in at number three is Quoth from The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear. He's kind of a jerk. Um, he has a huge ego. He's also the kind of character who's just automatically good at everything, but when he, but he can be a very nice person when it matters. Like he's actually very nice to Auri and like um, because she's, like, such a nice little innocent little girl and everything, and so he can be really, really nice and caring when he, like, wants to, but for the most part, he's, like, an e egotistical jerk and just, I don't know, treats a lot of people like crap the entire time. Coming in at number two is Lisbeth Salander from, uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. And basically, Elizabeth Salander is a researcher and a hacker and everything who basically, like, she, like, literally we're introduced to her by, like, the first thing that we hear about her pretty much is that she is the only one who, well, like, mostly works from home pretty much all the time because the other researchers at the place that she works don't like her. And, yeah, she's just such a, such a complex character and is so interesting and her, per her very personality just drives so many people away and yet like she actually is a good person like she actually helps a lot of people but she is just so like um just the stuff that she thinks and her thought process is like who are you even 
And finally, number one is Rose Hathaway from the Vampire Academy series. And basically, the thing is, I started off this series not liking her at all. Like, I thought that she was just so egotistical. Like, she just always has to have the last word and everything. Like, she argues for this just for the sake of arguing. And um, so the first three books, I kind of just read them go and went like, why does anybody like this series? She is such a, like... She's such an annoying little, like, child. Like, she feels the need to argue all the time, like, no matter who it's against, etc., etc. But then, by the fourth book, I adored her for those same qualities. I ended up really, really liking the fact that she's not a very nice person or anything because that made her different from like your typical YA protagonist and everything. Um, like she, she really had a personality and that's uh, like even a terrible personality is so much better than just not really having a personality or being really generic. So anyway, um, those are my top five um, favorite uh, unlikable protagonists. I purposely did not include any of Gillian Flynn's main characters or Chuck Palahniuk's main characters because, let's face it, they'd all win. Let me know who your favorite um, unlikable protagonist is in the comments and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!